What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Kentucky Beardsman and as always, thank you for giving me just a little bit of your time. So today we're going to talk about something that I don't think I've ever reviewed on this channel and that is mustache wax. So I have used some mustache waxes. Um, I've tried Death Grip, um, <clears throat> a few cheap ones off Amazon that I was recommended from a few other reviewers that obviously had no clue what they're talking about. Um, and a couple other name brand ones, and that none of them were what I was looking for. They either weren't a real good mustache wax, and what you're looking for in a mustache wax is basically hold. Um, scent, yes, it's important-ish, but with wax, you're looking for styleability. Extreme hold, all day long lasting hold, um, and you don't want it to leave a real big buildup on your uh, mustache or wherever else you may apply it. Um, I don't know anywhere else you would put mustache wax, but some people I know use beard wax, which is technically a different thing. Now, you, a lot of people don't like beeswax because they have it in their head because it was somehow instilled in there when they begin their beard journey that beeswax clogs your pores. Look guys, everything clogs your pores. Every one of these companies, from my number one company down to the bottom. All of them clog your pores if you don't wash your beard. Um, it's not going to build up if you wash your mustache and or beard. So that whole anti-beeswax movement, horrible, horrible idea. Beeswax is super nourishing, like stupid nourishing, very protecting. It, it is all around an amazing, amazing thing. But we are going to talk about a company that reached out to me and he did send me this. Um, actually, he sent me a tester and I bought this. Uh, but we are talking about Mustache Made. This is a, I believe it's a one ounce um, tin of wax. You can get it for $16. You can get refills. <clears throat> it comes in a puck wrapped in like some kind of wax paper or something like that. Um, but you can get these pucks for six bucks a piece. These offers, I believe it's like six or six to eight cents. Um, so you have plenty of cents to choose from. I went with, what was it? Vanilla bourbon. I believe that's right. Vanilla bourbon. It is a really nice mild scent and I'm glad that it's not a, on the stronger side. I, I know I put beard oil all over, including my mustache, but something like a wax really holds that for a fragrance and or essential oil in it. You know, it, it really locks everything in. So I don't want that scent concentrated <clears throat> under my nose. Excuse me. I got frogs in my throat, but with the mustache made stuff, I'm not having that issue. Like it, it's not like the cheaper stuff that I've used that like it goes in really nice, but then it kind of melts away. This does not do that. This also does not do what I don't like. And that is also that it builds up. This does not do that. It doesn't leave that. Sometimes when you use some uh, waxes, they leave what you, you can see the beeswax still in your hair. And I don't like that. I've combed it. I've tried doing a little bit of heat from um, like a blow dryer or something just to kind of try to melt that away. And it always comes back. I am led to believe that is because they are using a low quality beeswax. But with this mustache, wax it's not happening this stuff is phenomenal it is really really great um he offers it in a light or medium hold and in the uh heavy extreme hold basically <clears throat> i've been using this for uh two three weeks somewhere in that area and i only need like the tiniest amount obviously my mustache and beard is not super long right now uh, but if you go back and look through all my videos my mustache is never long i always trim it down and the reason being is because I never had anything to keep it up out of my mouth, to keep it up off my lip and, you know, get it out of the way so I can eat, so I can drink coffee, so I can eat some ice cream or whatever it may be. Um, but with this stuff, I'm telling you, it's it, even with a short mustache like this, and even last week with my, you know, or two weeks ago when it was really short, right after I trimmed it, it still held the hairs back. It was phenomenal. Now, you also can buy these little picks. The little picks are 95 cents a piece, but I believe when you order the tin with the wax, you know, filled, because you can get them like this, or you can just order the pucks, which would be kind of silly, because why wouldn't you want the tin? But I believe he throws in a pick with it as well. I believe. Don't hold me to that, but I believe that's what he told me he does. Um, the owner is out of Farmington, New Mexico, which is right down the road from where I used to live in Taos, which was, you know, one of those kind of small world after all kind of things. Um, so I'm actually definitely going to be grabbing more stuff from this guy. Um, he is a firefighter, super awesome, laid back, chill guy from what little I have talked to him. 
but I want to support someone from where, you know, basically support local. Um, even though I'm here in Kentucky, obviously, but that's where I lived for 10 years of my life. So I'm definitely going to throw some more support and love his direction. Um, he is working on a balm and I'm trying to convince or not convince, but talk him into doing an oil as well. Cause you know, you got to have the, uh, the oil, you know, aspect of the beard company in my opinion. Um, but right now he does have some awesome, awesome wax. This is the heavy hold and you're going to want a pick. This is a not a cheap pick. This is like a bass player's pick. If you know anything about you know musicians, this is a really nice, thick, barely flexible pick. But you are gonna need it to get this out, guys. Cause like I'm pushing pretty dang hard, and that's a well, that's about as much as I would use. Almost. Let me show you what I've been using. All right, that's about a, the the max amount that I have been using. It is such a tiny minuscule amount that it, this thing is going to last you a good long while. Um, obviously, the longer the mustache, the more wax you're going to need to use. Uh, but all you do is take just a little bit of it, like a tiny, like it's ridiculous how small amount of this stuff you need. Warm it up a little bit in between your fingers. Apply it to your mustache. Grab, grab your favorite Kent comb. And as you can see, like, everything just whoosh, right to the side. No problem. Um, obviously, I'm going to work it in a little bit more and would do more to it than just, you know, rub, rub, comb, comb. But for time's sake, you get the idea. I got somebody calling. Let's end that. So definitely go and check out Mustache Made. This is really, really good stuff. Again, the vanilla, uh, the vanilla bourbon is a really nice, calm, soothing, sweet, but has a little bit of a spicy mellowness to it. It is really, really nice. The scent lasted around maybe around eight hours, uh, somewhere in that area. Um, really, really nice. Uh, the ingredients are beeswax, jojoba, olive oil, pine resin, and then your scent, uh, which would be fragrance or essential oils. I believe it's fragrance. Um, but really great ingredients. The uh, pine resin was really, really cool to see in there because that offers a ton of tackiness. And I'm telling you, that is, it is an all day hold for pennies on the dollar, basically. This little tin is going to last you a long time. Even if you have a big mustache, uh, like Dagan's. Dagan's got a really nice mustache going right now. That right there would last him a long, long time. So, and it's easy to wash out. I do want to mention that. I did, I've, I've tried it with, uh, I believe it's like six of the many, many washes I've had. Um, I've been using certain five or six mostly, but every single one of them, even the lighter washes, the washes that aren't stripping, the more conditioning style washes, still take it out with one, you know, one wash. All you do is just make sure you rub it a little bit more. Obviously, do not just scrub it because you're going to pull out your hairs, but just wash it out. It's super simple. Just like everything else with beeswax, it comes right out. So go and check out Mustache Made. It is a really, really awesome company. If you have any questions, hit me up down in the, the description as always. Later.